Hey guys, I'm Craig from Goodway Solar Academy. Today, I will introduce Goodway Smart Meter for our energy storage family. Goodway Smart Meter is self-designed to coordinate with the inverter to realize certain functions. Currently, there are three models available. First one, GM1000 for single-phase hybrid models. Second one, GM3000 for three-phase hybrid models. And third one, GM1000D for single-phase AC couple models. Also, for the meters of the upcoming Goodwin North American model, I will introduce in the future. So as a default accessory for every single Goodwin hybrid inverter, the smart meter with a pre-wired 120 amp CT can precisely detect voltage, current, and communicate with the inverter to provide basic data source for system controlling, and to realize functions like load monitoring and export power limit as well. Also, for the small dimensions, they are convenient for operation and installation. So how to install them in the hybrid system? Let's take ET and GM3000 as an example. After finishing the electrical wiring of DC and AC terminals on the ET unit, we can proceed to the connection of GM3000 and the CTs. Before the introduction, both smart meter and the CTs we provide are well configured, so please do not modify them by yourself. First, connect the AC cable to the AC input. We suggest you to install an external 0.5 amp fuse on each face. Second, clip each of them to the corresponding AC cable shown on the screen. Please make sure the position is between the loads and the grid and the CT direction is housed to grid. Please be aware that incorrect connection or direction will cause wrong meter data. Next, connect the communication cable between the inverter and the small meter to make this step more convenient. Each hybrid inverter from the factory has a pre-wired RJ45 cable connected to the meter port. Connect the other end to the communication port on the smart meter. About the installation of single-phase meter GM1000, you can refer to this installation procedure for sure. But for the installation of GM1000D, as there are two CTs in the system, we need to connect one CT at inverter's AC output and another one at the place between the loads and the grid. To monitor the AC voltage parameter on the smart meter, we need to short-circuit L1 and L2 AC terminals on the smart meter and connect the AC cable to one of them. After the installation, we can know the status of the meter and the power flow from these three LED indicators. And also we can do the meter test in the app PV Master to check if there is any mistake made during the commissioning and a proper meter connection also shows up on PV Master. Okay, so that's all we have today. Thank you for watching. Also, if you want to learn more about our hybrid inverter, please check the videos on the right.